Hello everyone, this is Joan from Kenna Coffee, and today we have a DeLonghi Less Specialist with us in the shop. And pretty much today I came in because uh, when you would put your portafilter in with your coffee, and you would turn it on to make uh, coffee, one, you would see no pressure in the gauge, and two, you'll see leaking coming out of the group head. Uh, clean water, so you know it's before it touches the coffee, but uh, clean water will pour out the side here. Now it could be one of two things. Um, one, which is the worst one, takes a really really long time to fix is when the frame breaks and usually when I, I own two of these machines for the same reason um, if the f the reason or the way you would break the frame is if you put too much coffee in your port filter and then try to crank it and when you try to put it all the way in it cracks the plastic frame that's in there so uh, just a tip don't uh, put a lot of coffee in your port filter um, secondly it could be that the plate on the machine breaks and I'll show you the original one here so you get a little bit of a visual this frame right here so uh, this goes inside of your machine at your group head this is where the water comes out um, when this thing breaks cracks it could be a very small crack it will find its way through also there's a gasket in there that we replaced this goes on top of that little uh, plate that we replaced and we replace the small gasket, as you can see, there's a little bit of squishy damage there. So yeah, and now the leakiness stops. So we're gonna test the machine by taking out the portafilter. We're gonna uh, grind some coffee real quick. Now we're gonna tamp using this lever here. Tamp a few times just to make sure you get a good bed of coffee. As you can see, nice and coarse because they are using a pressurized basket. Put it all the way to close. Open a little latch so that we can put a tiny cup. And we're gonna brew. So we're gonna make sure that pressure gauge goes into the optimal or optimal zone. As you can hear, making a nice coffee at the bottom. And we're using our test coffee for this test, so if there's not a lot of chroma or it's different things, I did not calibrate anything. I'm just brewing a shot just to, as a demonstration. As you can see, a really nice shot there. And as you can see, no leaks around the group head at all. Around here, we're going to do the hot water spout. Looking good. And now we're going to put the steam on and point it towards here just so we could test the steam real quick, just to make sure all the functions of the machine are working. And I did also clean the steam one a little bit. It had a really weird smell to it. That's usually uh, the smell of burnt milk. Um, you can smell it in the steam when, uh, when it's like this. So I did use a little bit of Rinza and just kind of cleaned it uh, a little bit just uh, to try to get you a better experience with that. Yeah, that's about it for this uh, repair. If you like this video or any of our other videos on the channel, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.